Hi folks, welcome America 2.0, how are you? Alright, um, I found this video online, uh, this guy here, uh, his name's Pastor Joe, uh, ex-Special Forces, the guy that you would expect to be in the know. And he has all the experience to tell everything like it is and everything else except for, I left a comment on his page because, I, I obviously for YouTube reasons I can't go into all of this here. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the first 15 seconds of this video and you can you can see this. This is, uh, I, I, all I searched was on YouTube was uh, Viking Preparedness. Uh, Jade Helm, and I got this video here. This is what it is. This man's probably very good at everything. Probably knows a hell of a lot. But, and I'm, I'm going to go into everything. This is on the Jade Helm. Um, there's a critical reason that I've been not releasing on this Jade Helm thing because I don't want to bring it out there yet. But, I do not believe that this Jade Helm is going to be the martial law scenario. It, it isn't. The idea that it's ten states wide, on record, with four or five in reserve, and no doubt every police precinct and agency taking part in it at some point, um, it's not there to declare martial law, folks, okay? They're there to bait the lone wolves and the lone militias that are going to do standoffs and stuff, folks. This is why they're doing it. That's why it's eight weeks. I believe if you look up the Bundy Ranch scenario, I think it was about eight weeks. Could be wrong. I don't know. But this is why they're doing it, folks. And everybody's saying, no, 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 it's not going to be the martial law. No, 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 it's not going to be the martial law. They're not going to do this to be the martial law. They're doing this to draw out everybody, oops, sorry, down south to do, to do what they did at the Bundy standoff, do what they did and all this other Patriot stuff to call these guys out to basically bait a situation to where shots go down range. That's why, I, I, folks, I believe that 100%. If I was facing a firing squad, I would say it out loud. But... This guy's good, man. Well, I got to you, like, 15 seconds of this. I think this guy has his stuff together. I'll do 20 seconds, because I think this guy's a good man. I think you should join his uh, page and as well as mine, and I think I'd love to work with this guy on a future video. But I do believe this man is absolutely wrong on this one, folks. Hey, good morning. Welcome to Viking Preparedness. I'm Pastor Joe Fox. Have you heard of this military special operations command exercise called Jade Helm that's coming to the, the uh, west of our country this summer for eight weeks? Uh, there's a lot of stuff on the internet about it, and I figured as a former soft guy, <laughs> former action guy, <laughs> um, I would give you guys the lowdown on what's going on. Now, some of you know me, some of you don't. Uh, I remember in Y2K, before Y2K, and I was just new to the internet personally, I got on some forums, you know, where were those soldiers? They weren't there. Another whole explanation for another time. I am not saying that there are not real conspiracy theories out there. Nothing, right? I don't know anybody involved in the exercise. Uh, no one's briefed, you know, Pastor Joe Fox on, on what they're going to do. I just read what's on the internet. But I have the ability to look at that with a lens, through a lens, of 20 years of experience in special operations. All right? And, and so I'm going to tell you what's going on. <clears throat> First of all, it is not a martial law exercise or a martial law you know they're getting ready to declare martial law at the end of september that's when everybody says the whole system's going to come down anyway and they're just getting in place that is not what's happening martial law or, or something like that i'm like all right right now i just want to do a quick go over on uh um whatchamacallit the uh jade helm situation i want to show you exactly what i think is going on 
and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line across uh, where I think everything's going to go on and what I think is actually going to happen. So basically right here are the states that we know are participating in the Jade Helm exercise. Okay, these are the basic states. Um, we've been told Alabama is. Uh, I remember Mississippi being, I imagine Georgia would be. Because they want this whole perimeter here, folks. So they want basically this. And basically, folks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change colors from red being the exact line to something blueish to being what I believe the entire breadth of this operation is. All the way up to North Carolina, these two, North Carolina and South Carolina, being the entire breadth of the military, having Florida, Texas, uh, California. I touched over here, so that's good enough for this to be here. So basically, when this thing finally kicks off, what I think we're going to see is now I'll make this small I'll make myself smaller here and no doubt over here folks this being the entire breadth of the Jade Helm situation. Now, uh, I imagine that there are, um, yes, this comes from WashingtonStateSearch.com. That's a map I used. I also cut it down so I can actually use it for this purpose. And I still believe, uh, let's do black being the solid color so that everybody knows everything that's involved here. Okay, including this here, Texas, yep, and this here, and basically everybody just basically coming down. So this is this is what I believe it's going to be, folks. And I said it that I believe this is a baited situation, and I do believe that it is a baited situation until I find out that it isn't. Until nothing happens, and I go, oh look, it wasn't baited. Good, excellent. Beautiful. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn to. I'm going to go down here real quick because I'm not needed in that window anymore. And I'm just going to go and change colors real quick. You're not even going to notice it because I'm over here. I'm going to get something close to a gold or a green. And I'm going to do all the major areas that I think these guys are going to have problems from. Wyoming, Montana's a big state. North Dakota's big. South Dakota's big. Uh, Iowa. West Virginia's big, folks. Uh, I'm trying to do partial arrows here, and if you look even closely, and I imagine some out of here, I'll just do a little arrow here to show the original 13, and I'll just do this down here. So that's basically what I think the Jade Helm would be if absolute shit hit the fan. And if you notice, there's a nice line that they can either push up or push down. So basically folks this is it and if you want to know how I did this if you have XSplit what I did was I opened the image okay and then I put my whiteboard up over it and then that allowed me to draw on what I saw. I'm definitely getting too far into that and I apologize folks that was probably more than I should have shown. Uh, and they were trying to shut my shit down so I wasn't copywriting anything. Uh, but the best thing I could say, folks, is that 
he has the tactical experience. He isn't seeing this from, or isn't stating that he's seeing this from, the citizens who are sick and tired of this shit. And they're basically going to join up and push down. And do the standoffs and stuff. So, I believe this is a baited situation. I believe the high-ranking commanders in the Obama administration know it is. I don't think the guys on the ground know it is. I think they're just going to be out doing their job, doing this, doing that, and that's it. Um, and then, you know, they're going to be drinking coffee all of a sudden. You know, oh, shit, there's 100 guys with rifles. There's 10, 15 guys with rifles. What the fuck is going on? Hey, Sarge, is this part of this? Uh, I gotta check with commanders. You know, next thing you know, everybody's shooting at them. They're using live rounds. They're going, oh fuck, this is not supposed to happen. What the fuck is going on? Do we return fire? Do we return fire? I don't know, sir. And that's why I believe it's a baited situation.